since you brought up the hijab, this is uh, let me get your uh, your reaction to this one. Since you you mentioned the hijab, so mm -hmm. this is a popular. Someone shared this with me. And let's see what you think about this. Stays true to her signature style and reveals why she keeps her body covered up. I never want the world to know everything about me. I mean, that's why I wear big baggy clothes. Nobody can have an opinion because they haven't seen what's underneath, you know? Nobody can be like, oh, she's she's slim thick. She's not slim thick. She's <laughs> she got a flat <laughs> She's got a fat ass. No one can say any of that because they don't know. Guys, I love that. Billy is seriously just breaking the mold and doing it her own way. She wants people to focus on the fashion and not her figure. How in general would you describe your style? I want to see heads look up. Style has always been something I care about. <laughs> you were talking about hijab. <laughs> not totally, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about the meaning of it, yeah. you know, hijab, I like to cover something, yeah. then yeah, I mean, I mean, you know... It, that's, it, yeah. it, it just seems like, you know, many people, that's why it's so important, dawah, education, because it seems like the fitra, the, the, the natural state of the human being, I mean, gets corrupted, the environment, you know, our surroundings, but mm -hmm. it's it just inside of us. And you just need, once Islam comes, it fits like a glove. Now it mm -hmm. gives you that blueprint, you know. That's right. So you can see her kind of going toward that. She don't want people to m measure her by her body, but by her intelligence. That's right. She's, she's, she's doing something uh, a little above and beyond what everybody's doing. Yeah. And it's, but it's interesting, though, of how someone like that is, is, is applauded and and praised for it but yeah. yet how many muslim women are doing are this doing every day yeah. and would probably say you know 70 percent or whatever obviously it's for allah and it's yeah. just following a commandment like this but would actually say those same things as well too i'm not yeah. interested in you observing me in a way that i don't want to be observed by you so right? billy h she's like have you ever heard of her i didn't no, hear of her no, she's no, like no. the new thing now okay uh so she's like the new britney spears yes yeah, so billy h i guess she's real popular so now she's like you just said it's like she wants to cover up show less wearing baggy clothes yeah, right and yeah. this is pretty much that's islam not revealing the shape of hijab not revealing the shape of your yeah. your body but on top of that having been just a good human being good moral uh, character and whatnot mm -hmm. but now you said if as soon as if she would have said islam muslim been shot down exactly <laughs> what? I mean, right they didn't, didn't look at the comment section when Lindsay lohan or whatever her name was yeah. said that she took shot right she's, right she's suffering from mental illness all these other things where she mm -hmm. came on and said i'm covering my body because I, you know it's just it's just wild like basically wow yeah you can be liberated but on our terms not islam yeah exactly right? Right? you have to be liberated on our terms and we'll determine what liberation looks such like such hypocrisy for you. Man, exactly you think about exactly it. but the beautiful thing about though is that people aren't stupid yes people are not stupid you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, you can have, as Sheikh Hamza says, you can have your own opinions, but you're not entitled to your own facts. Mm, you can have your own opinions, but you can have your own opinions, you. but you're not entitled to your own facts. Mm -hmm. So she's telling you, you know what I mean? This fact about me, we can form any opinion we want. That fact remains with her. The fact of what Muslims are doing, you can have your opinion all day. The fact will remain the fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you you had this whole you have the the Me Too movement and and mm -hmm. whatnot. Recently, we were, we were talking about it. This is this is another point, like uh, that Islam has all these solutions, and now many of these big corporate uh, giants and whatnot now they're implementing what you would think, like wow, this is what Islam says. Yeah, you know how to interact with yeah. the opposite gender and whatnot right. for the protection of the woman and uh, yeah. And now yeah. they're actually implementing these yeah. things. But it's interesting how it has to run this whole to cycle and go through being called patriarchal and all of these other things. But at the end of the day, you're going to come to the same conclusion, right? And so, but again, it's on our terms, yeah. <laughs> as I think it is. And I think to me, that's a major problem. Like, I, I'm not, you know, like, I don't think, I don't know. It's just, I was just talking to a student the other day about this idea of what is it like, is, is the issue like a theological issue or is the issue one of like autonomy? Because I think in the, in, in, in the, in the United States, of course, like this whole idea about, you know, f freedom and liberty and, and the individualism. And I think now if one um, affirms that there's a God, now all of a sudden I have to be like bound to those rules. Like I'm no longer like the top of the, like the top yeah. of the pyramid, so to speak, yeah. right? There's someone that I have to, and I think that's a, that, that becomes a problem for, 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 for people.